then we will see another mistake in the same chapter. It says, he who taught you, who taught the use of the pen. Allah is the one who taught the use of the pen. How is that? And the funny, he is saying to Muhammad, it is he who taught you, supposedly, to use the pen when Muhammad do not know how to write, how to read. And to be more funny, surprise, surprise, the first thing Allah, he created in this universe, it was a pen. Let us go and see. Now let us read together. This is Sahih al-Bukhari, hadith number 6941, and you see the name of the book. If we go there, we will see that they asked the Prophet, uh, what was the first thing Allah created of this universe? And please concentrate with me what Muhammad he said. The Prophet said, not me, remember, because I know Muslims will say, he is saying that. The Prophet said, there was Allah and nothing else before him. And his throne was over the water. A right away we will notice in here that there was nothing, but in the same time there is a water. How do you say there is nothing before him but his throne over the water? Because as you see, there was before Allah. He is contradicting himself. There was nothing, but there is a throne and there is a water. Those are two objects. And he then created the heavens and the earth. So this is mean the water was exist before the heaven and the earth. And wrote everything in the book. Here we go. This is what we are talking about now. Ray wrote everything in the book. Like why Allah wrote everything in a book? Which book? Allah, he have a book next to him, and nobody can read that book. And this book is made only for Allah. And here we ask ourselves a question, why Allah is writing things for himself? And from here we get to that verse where it says that he is the one who taught by the pen. This is mean that Allah, he was taught, you know, he was teaching himself by the pen, because the first he created, it was a pen. And let me show you the hadith saying that. In this video, we will talk about the story of Alexander the Great. And this is tafsir.com. You can go and grab the, the, the link from there. The story of the Qurnayn. This is how you find the chapter. You go to chapter 18 and you know you find the brand, you know what we are talking about by this title. 